So what I did is I asked ChatGPT, please provide me a response to this case that Amazon is prohibiting or restricting my product. My product is zero ABV, a couple other points, okay? And then I uh, copy and paste it. Are you going through a listing takedown currently or are you going through an issue with Amazon and you're having an issue resolving a problem with your account health, what have you? That can be a really tough issue to resolve and I'm going to talk about a novel way for you to resolve that, a new way to try to find resolutions in my experience as a seller and as a Amazon consultant for product launches. So I'll give you a background. My issue recently was I was launching a non-alcoholic beverage on Amazon. And the issue is Amazon prohibits alcoholic beverages from being sold. So I had listed the product and Amazon eventually took it down as a restricted product. And of course, you know, Amazon's thinking I am selling an alcoholic beverage. Now, as we know as sellers, we feel that Amazon is run by algorithms. Amazon is run by AI. This is actually how we want to run our businesses, right? We want to systemize processes to in order to leverage and expand our business because we only have so much time. So the fact of the matter is, is Amazon's using AI. Now, I talked to a bunch of sellers that have much more experience than me uh, on how to resolve this and really didn't really find a really easy an approach that was actually working so then uh, last week I had an issue still with this listing and as you know as a seller when you have account health issues uh, if you're currently going through this on a product you know what I'm talking about it can be very stressful you're worried that your account could be shut down at any moment um, you don't want this on your account health and you want to resolve it as quickly as possible right so in the past, I would spend hours and hours creating these cases and they would get auto rejected by the AI. Now, I I continually look to learn from other sellers in this, in this space on everything that's going on with Amazon, with AI, continually learning about AI and how it can make my business and my clients' businesses more successful and at lower cost, right? At scale. Let's say Amazon is using AI to index your listings more and more, both the time and the pictures so they're using AI to really handle you know probably 99% of their their amazon.com business okay so if that's the case if, if Amazon when I submit a listing they're using AI to index it to to rank it to read my pictures even the text on the pictures some sellers are saying that you should use AI to primarily make your listing so it's AI friendly now taking that information and saying, okay, I have a massive problem with this product launch. Invested tens of thousands of dollars in the product, okay? It's on its way uh, from the manufacturer, everything. You know, you know how expensive it can be to launch a top-notch product. This, top, this product is top-notch. So it can be very expensive, tens of thousands of dollars. And I, my account could potentially be at risk, although I don't really feel that, still it could be an issue. Okay. Uh, who wants to get shut down and even lose three days of revenue? So all the stuff and I'm sitting there last week and I'm like, you know what? Why don't I use AI to respond to this case? So have the language match up with the language of Amazon and see what happens. What do I have to lose really? So what I did was I went to the performance notifications in your seller central, got the text of the performance notification, except for the boilerplate at the bottom, but all the meaty text of why Amazon thinks my product is prohibited or restricted took that. Also, I got the ingredients of my product. You, you'll you need all the specification of your products to prove, you know, that this is not what Amazon's thinking it is. So what I did is I asked ChatGPT, please provide me a response to this case that Amazon is prohibiting or restricting my product. My product is zero ABV, a couple other points, okay? And then I uh, copy and pasted the performance notification into ChatGPT. And then at the end I said, uh, help me resolve this so I can begin selling uh, my product. Within like five seconds, two seconds, 10 seconds, Chat GPT gave me a response. I edited it slightly with just some of the, the formatting, I would say. The formatting just looked a little weird, but the text, I didn't change it at all. That 
put it in the case, gave the additional documentation to Amazon that it needed. And within 48 hours, Amazon uh, reactivated the listing, took the performance notification off my account, and I'm back at it. And this is something that I could not resolve on my own at all. And I kind of look at it as like, you know, if you don't know the language, like you hadn't didn't grow up in, let's say, Mexico, and you don't know like uh, regions dialect, and let's say you get in an argument with somebody, let's say a business or something, and you're visiting, if you don't speak that exact dialect of Spanish, you may not be able to resolve the issue. And uh, this can happen globally, you know, if somebody doesn't speak your dialect, there's a miscommunication and it's a, a mismatch, and the dispute can never really fully be resolved. And this is what's happening with AI. So AI is going to be more and more on Amazon, if it's not like 100% uh, for customer service, for seller support. Seller support may be even using AI to generate the responses, okay? So AI is pervasive in everything. Um, and we're gonna need to know how to use AI to craft the responses. I hope you did find this helpful in your Amazon business. I have a ton of content uh, on the channel. Just check out a lot of the videos that can really help you uh, resolve issues on Amazon. But also, if you want to see this in detail, how I went into ChatGPT, how I went into the performance notifications, and how I copy and pasted and did all this stuff and then submitted it, uh, if you want to see that in detail, that takes a lot of time. And I don't have a lot of time. None of us do. So if you would like me to create an episode in the next week or in the next four weeks to show you exactly how I did this with screen, hit that like button and leave a comment below. If I get enough of a response there, I will actually put that together for you because I think this is amazing. This changes um, my approach for Amazon and I hope it's going to help you and change your approach and help you resolve a lot of the issues that you might be having uh, between you and Amazon. I hope it helps you find more success as you free up your time to concentrate on more of the uh, bigger picture, more important things. So I will see you guys next time. Take care.